To specify your error pages, click on this icon over here. Next, choose your domain name which you want the error pages to be edited. In this case, there's only one. And once you have chosen it, click on the Go button. Now, as you can see over here, there are around five pages where you can edit. Now, basically, the most common error pages is the 404 error page where it says uh, error page for going to a page which doesn't exist on the, on the uh, account, on, on the domain. As you can see here, this is my domain name. And let's say someone goes to a wrong page or to a page which doesn't exist, like here. Okay, like this. I hit enter. And you can see this is the most common error page which many people have encountered. A not found page. This is a, this is a 404 error page. You can see here. 404 error page. So, by editing the error page, you will be editing the page over here. That means if someone clicks on the wrong page of your site, they will be presented with the page which you will be editing. So it will look more professional on your part. But for internet marketers, in the, in the perspective of internet marketing, many of them advise to create or edit the page where it will be able to profit from the error pages. That means put in a, an advertisement or something on the page so that at least the person will be able to see the advertisement and there is a chance of getting a sale from it. For example, in this case, I will edit just one page, the wrong page, the error page. Let's click here. Now over here, this is the box where you will be editing the page. For example, I can type in here, sorry, you have come to the wrong page of our site. Please click on the please click on the home page URL here. And then you can also type in the URL example. Okay. At the same time, you can also specify a few fields over here. That is to type in the referring URL. Let's say I type in the referring URL. Okay, and then I click on this button. So the tag will appear here. And you can also put in the visitor's IP address. The system will be able to capture all of this. And then click on the button over here. And another example, let's say the visitor's browser. Okay. We can know the visitor's browser just by typing in the tag over here. Okay. Normally this is not needed, but it's up to you whether or not you want it to appear. But I'll just show this as an example. So once I've done all this, I click on the save button over here. And there you go, this, the page has been saved. So now let's hide, uh, refresh and see what uh, how the page will look like. Okay, let's refresh. And there you go. Sorry, you have come to the wrong page of our site. Please click on the home page URL and you have this uh, URL. Okay, you can see here this is a text. A file, a text message, a message, purely a text message, but you can uh, put in HTML. Let's go back. You can put in HTML on this part of this page. So you can open your front page or your Dreamweaver, your your HTML editor software, create the page, and then go to the code and copy the code and paste it over here. So that it will look more presentable instead of a site, uh, instead of a text like this. That is why it is not being properly aligned. Okay, once you have done that, just click on the save button. And then the changes will be made. 